Hello and a warm welcome to the tutorial about the event space. I first like to introduce myself. My name is Yannick Noah Kempe and I am the project manager at the Reality. Today I will guide you through everything what you need to know and hopefully you will have a great overview at the end on what to expect and what you can do. But first I like to introduce the Reality and the Sphere platform. Z-Reality has invented the world's first multi-channel content management platform Sphere for the special web. With Sphere, businesses can easily present products in superior CD quality on the web, in mobile and VR and AR applications. Sphere is a cloud platform and is easy to use at WordPress. It allows the creation and publishing of 3D apps with dynamic content and real-time data to any device without the need for programming skills. Sphere helps marketing and sales professionals to sell more and customer service teams to be more efficient. And now I would like to share the content with you on what you will learn in the different tutorials. We first will talk about on how to use the controls and move around inside the event space. With this knowledge in mind, I will guide you through the different areas inside the event space and the breakout rooms. I then talk about the different contents and how to use them. And in the end, I will show you on how to register and log into the video conference to meet anyway. I will share the user and presenters view with you, explain the different interfaces and how you get the most out of your meetings. Let's get started with the controls. So you can click and hold the left or the right mouse button and then you can look to the left, to the right, up and down. To move inside the space you have two options. The first option is you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard or the other option is to use the WASD keys on your keyboard. You can move forward, backwards left and right. If you combine both, you experience the event space in a completely new way. If you are on a tablet or a smartphone and you don't have a keyboard or a mouse, you can use the point and click option. The point and click option is the white circle you can see on the ground and which follows the cursor. So if you decide to move here, you can just point, click, and jump. If you need a quick overview on the navigation, you have the navigation help which will support you. You will see the pop-up with a picture and you can see a complete overview of the controls we were just talking about. Welcome and thank you for joining me to have a look around the inside of the event space and on how to use the bottom and the top navigation. You start your journey at the info desk. You can put up here a video or an image. If it's a video, you can click on it and it will play. And if you want to stop it, you can just click on it again. Beside this, you have the icon to join video conferences. On the right side, we have the networking zone. From here, you also have the option to put up a video or images. If it's several images, it will create a gallery. You can click through it by clicking these arrows on the left and the right. And from here, you can also join video conferences. On this floor, we have four rooms. These rooms are customized you can put whatever fits you best in there. We, for example, made a room dedicated to automotive and retail.
And when you go downstairs, you get into the big main stage. The main stage has a big screen. You can put up here a live stream or a video. You can experience in, inside the frame, or you can make it full screen by clicking on the icon at the bottom right. From here, you are also able to join video conferences. And if you want to interact with your audience, you can make it by clicking on something like a real quiz, for example, Mentimeter. And down here, we also have the four rooms which are customized. And on the back, we have the product zone or gallery. You can put up videos here or also images. And if you want to fast travel somewhere, you can click on these icons, main stage, gallery, networking area. Or you can also click on this. Welcome into the breakout rooms. In these breakout rooms, you have the option to customize it by putting up posters, videos, and also put in 3D models. For example, we will start on the right side where you can put up posters. Each of these posters can be big or small and you have the possibility to put up 15 in total. You can put annotation points under it and have, for example, a video or some text. The good thing is the video will right play into the frame so you don't have to open another tab or a new site. And from here, you are also able to chat with persons or enter a video conference call. We now move to the right side. Here, you can upload some videos, which will also play inside the frame. You can click on it and it will play and you click on it again and it will stop. And here, for example, is a 3D model. And here, you are also able to put up videos or images. Now, I will show you on how to log in to the video conference to meet anyway and how to use the interface. So let's get started. You first click on this icon and you will see this window. If you already have an account, you can log in. If you don't have one yet, no worries, I will sign up with you. First, you enter your details, like your first name, last name, email address, And create your password. You agree and create an account. From here you can get started. You can upload a picture. We would recommend you to do this so it will be a good experience. And here you can choose a headline. Let's take, for example, 3D Project Manager. We complete our profile and here we are. And to be part of this event, you have to click on Attend Online. And after that, you will click on Enter Event Space. If you click on this, it will open in a new tab full screen. But if you don't want that, you can go back into the space, close the window, and open it up again.
This will pop up if you have multiple connections, like for example, I did. I was logged in here and I was logged in there. So close this one, because I want to use it here. And now we will have a look at the interface. For example, we have here different floors like the main stage, networking area, and the different rooms. But I now have a question. So I go into the info desk and I click on join. And you see that my picture is right jumping into this room. And from here, I can start a video call. Hi. If I want to leave the room, I can click here on the red button. If I have a question, I can get help by clicking on this button. And from here, I can contact the technical support chat for Meet Anyway, and also get help with the center for commonly asked questions. I can share feedback, and I can also search for someone. For example, someone who is currently online. And I can also open the chat and have a private chat with other attendees. When I am in this video call, I can choose to turn off my camera or turn off my microphone. I can open the chat inside this room. I also can see who is currently inside the room. I can have an overview over my connections. And I have also the possibility to choose settings for my camera and video. And from here, I can choose the quality of the video. And this option means that someone is getting better as soon as he speaks. That's perfect when very much people are attending the meeting. I can close this up and I can share my screen. And now I want to leave. So I click on the red button and I can write my experience on how it was. Buttons here. They give me an overview so I can see my current events and I can change my profile settings and I also can log out. Thank you. The tutorial before was out of the user side. Now we will see how it is out of the presenter's view. So I click on here and you see that I'm already logged in. And I click on join. From here, it's the same like with the user's view. But for example, you can see that there is another button beside the leave table button. It says lock table. Lock table means I can close the room and can't let in anyone else. If I have, for example, a very important meeting and there should be just one or two persons inside, I can close it and no one from outside is able to join the meeting. But for example, if someone is late, he can contact me via the chat. I'll show you how to do this. You can click on the chat symbol. It's over here. And he can get in direct contact with me. He can write me a message and ask if I can let him in. And of course I can. 
I can click here again and I unlock the table. So now everyone is able to join. Then after that, I can click on it again and I close it. Thank you. So now I will share you the screen sharing option. First of all, I click on the icon again and I'm already logged in. When you see the tutorials before, you know how exactly the sign up and registration meet anyway works. And here we already see my colleague Nicole, who is an InfoDesk one. I click on join. And here we start our video call. Hi Nicole. So what you do is you go on sharing and here you have the option to choose between your screens. Here you see I already open Microsoft Whiteboard on my screen one. Then click on share. And after this, you see exactly what Nicole is also seeing. I can start drawing, typing, and put up some images. The best thing about this is that Nicole sees this in real time. And if she wants, she can also add something to it. For example, you see the little bubble. And you know that Nicole is writing something. And here it is. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you, bye. If you want to stop sharing your screen, you just click on stop. And also, you can leave here the table on the red button. Thank you. And now we reach the end of the tutorials. I first would like to thank you for listening and your time. I will give you a quick summarize of everything we learned today. We learned about the controls and navigation, on how to move inside the space, what content is possible and on how to use it. Furthermore, we learn to use and how to register and log in to the video conference tool, what the difference is between the users and presenters interface and on how to share the content. If there are any questions left, please contact us at support at Thank you and have a nice day.